We'll come back. In a moment, we'll be unpacking what has come out of the State Capture Commission of Inquiry with ENCA's Aaron Bates, who's been tracking that particular story. But we pause for now to bring you a bit of breaking news. And for that, we go straight to ENCA's Heidi, Heidi Jokos, who's been tracking developments at the PIC. Heidi, what's happened? Uh, well, Tulas, with me I have a letter from um, the PIC board to the finance minister, Tito Mbaweni. Um, the PIC board has asked the minister to relieve them from their duties. The whole PIC board has asked to resign. And this is because of allegations um, leveled against the PIC board. We heard from the PIC Commission of Inquiry earlier this week that um, allegations against the PIC board of uh, you know, meddling um, and, and being involved in dodgy deals we know that there's this whistleblower um, by the name of James Nogu who made a reappearance in, um, in early this year claiming that the PIC board, together with the chairman of the board, which is the deputy finance minister, um, Mondli Gungubele, is trying to capture the PIC board. So we have this letter where they're claiming that uh, you know, these allegations against the PIC board is destabilizing the institution and therefore they feel it is um, in the best interest to rather leave the PIC board until uh, everything is made clear. They do understand that this will obviously have a major impact given the, pa the fact that the PIC is one of the largest asset managers uh, in South Africa on the African continent and deals with government pension funds. Um, but they're saying that they would rather opt to leave. Hmm. Interesting, Heidi. What else are they saying in that particular letter? And also, if you can, I don't know if they list uh, the names of the people who are party to this uh, mass exodus that's taking place. Unfortunately, the letter uh, isn't very descriptive, and we don't really have names of exactly who has asked to leave. But, uh, you know, they're basically saying that in their view, they feel as though um, it is just best to leave. I mean, they're saying that uh, in these events, it has been unbearable um, for these specific individuals and the PIC board and has had a negative impact on uh, their professional integrity. And it is for this reason that they now write to request uh, the Honorable Minister to release them as directors of the PIC and they are mindful that the decision may have repercussions or regulatory and legislative compliance requirements of the PIC, but uh, they have decided to rather leave, you know, which leaves a massive hole. I mean, this is, this is literally they've thrown the towel in and they've decided to leave, leaving a massive hole at the PIC because now what happens? You know, do you call them in and try and speak to them and try and calm the waters or is this a done deal for the PIC directors? We're just going to have to wait and see, uh, you know, if we get any word from the finance minister or from any of these PIC directors. All right. Thank you so much for that update. That's ENCA's Heidi Jokos bringing you breaking news there of the resignation of the members of the board of the Public Investment Corporation, the P.